Good morning, friends. Look at this beautiful street. I had an awesome sleep, like 12 hours. I looked begged because I think I'm still jet lagged a bit. It's obviously gonna take a few days to fully adjust, but I went to sleep, probably fell asleep around 11 p.m., which my host was shocked by because he wasn't even having dinner till 1 a.m., which is bonkers to me. And I woke up around 7.30, but then forced myself back to bed till 9.30 I woke up. So we just got ready. Now we're gonna go find a coffee cafe and it he was helping me learn some Spanish so I can try and get almond milk leche de almandres probably saying that so wrong and churros he tells me that they eat for breakfast or poras which for me is like dream breakfast I love sweets so to have a churro for breakfast is like my dream situation we'll soon find out am I just getting espresso today just so I play the milk card safe. I think I really need to stop trusting my Airbnb host because he sent me to a restaurant yesterday that he said was very good and that the owners would know him. And then when I told them his name, probably because there were certain things I didn't speak Spanish, they didn't know him. But apparently later he went by and said hi and connected the dots. And then today he told me to go to this restaurant for I said a cafe. He was telling me that you get churros or perros, and then I just asked for churros, and they don't have any. But then I don't know what she asked me. She asked me about a tortilla, and I don't really have any. I have a baguette at home I'm gonna go eat. We just got an espresso. But I didn't have a coffee at all yesterday, and I think that's why jet lag also hit me so hard. I've gotta get back into a caffeinated routine. So, cheers to being in the well, today is moving a lot slower than I expected. I woke up around 9.30, I got out of the house at 10.10, but then my Airbnb host talked to me for 30 minutes. I escaped to go get a coffee where he told me there would be almond milk. Didn't work out, all good. Had a delicious espresso for two euro. I included a mini tip, which I did ask, do you tip here? Because in Canada, we tip 15 to 20%. And if that's the same here, no problem. But if it's not, I don't want to be <laughs> giving people 20%. That's a lot of money by the end of the trip. So he said just a little bit, like a euro or two, which was helpful to know if the service is really good or like 50 cents for a coffee. I bought a croissant, we talked for another hour. I made my croissant, which was one of the best kind of croissants I've ever had because it actually had enough chocolate on the inside. So I'll make sure to link below where that bakery was. And I think it's a chain. I'm finally sitting down about to start some work. So got my little desk set up here. We're gonna work for a bit, wait till I get hungry again, then go for lunch because lunch is from 12 to 6 here. So I've got to. Um... We are out exploring. It's 4 30 p.m., which is such a random time to start going out to explore. Basically, just gonna go out until it starts to get dark. And then I make my way to dinner of sorts. My landlord loves, or Airbnb host, loves to give life lessons about how I should date men, what I should talk about, that I shouldn't tell them I'm a vegetarian on the first date, or that I eat plant-based, <laughs> how I can pay money <laughs> to get, I guess, a sperm from Sweden if I want to have children for 150 euros. Anyway, he desperately wants grandchildren and I'm trying to tell him I am not the woman for his son. It makes me laugh and he's very kind. Gave me his phone number and said in case anything happens, be careful, all that. So I take that very genuinely. And now I decided to explore the university, which is definitely not on anyone's list, but nonetheless, why not? And see what it has to offer. Cause I don't really want to go into the center of town. When in two more nights, I'll be staying in the center of town. And I think that's just a better idea when I'm there. So we're just exploring the streets. Honestly, this university is pretty dead, which my Airbnb host said that it wouldn't be very good. But I thought it's Spain, maybe they have some older buildings. But honestly, I think UBC is more beautiful than this, University of British Columbia. So we're changing our mind. We're gonna walk to Temple de, de Baud. Let me pronounce that. Tempolo de, de Baud, which is an Egy Egyptian temple. It's about a 45 minute walk from where I am right now, which is fine. 
because I'm in a walking mood and I'm not at the end. I always try and walk first and take transit back when I'm tired. And the vegetarian restaurant that my host daughter recommended that she's a vegetarian isn't open until 7.30 because they eat dinner so late here. I shouldn't say so late, we eat it so early. <laughs> so anyway, I've got time to kill. I've got two and a half hours at least to kill, so might as well walk for 45 minutes. The weather is nice, the rain is holding off, so let's go. gonna rain the camera's not doing it justice but it shouldn't be this dark I didn't bring my rain jacket it was supposed to rain or rain last night and it was supposed to rain this morning and it didn't and it says 90%, 70%, 40% 40% chance. And I learned that that percentage actually means percentage of the area it's calling for will rain. I learned that on TikTok, but I feel splashes and I'm like, please just pass through until I'm at least finishing visiting this location. So we got a nice park to us. I don't know if I'm going the wrong, the right way. We're gonna, oh, there, temple. starting to rain. Here is the temple though. It's starting to pour. Look at those clouds. That's the lineup to get in. I'm not gonna go inside. Forget my umbrella today. Here's the temple. Hello, my friends. Of course, this afternoon when I went to explore, it poured. It poured for about an hour, and I didn't have an umbrella with me, which I haven't taken in my packing. But my host, your baby host, had one, and I did bring my rain jacket, which we know works really well. So I decided to come back to my accommodations just to dry off. I've actually changed clothes into the only other sweater I have change pants, change shoes, because everything is just soggy. Now we're gonna go out for dinner, but it's just about to hit 8.30. I'm gonna walk there, so we'll probably get there 8.45, 9. This is the part of solo travel that makes me super anxious, is the eating, because it's just kind of awkward to eat by yourself in a restaurant, but I need to get over it. And um, let's just continue to add that my Airbnb host is pretty confident that I am going to marry his son. I think this man is dreaming of grandchildren like tomorrow, not realizing they take time. And I keep reminding him to keep dreaming. <laughs> and I was like, what's the Spanish word for dreaming? Cause that's what's happening. So it's become quite a humorous topic between us. And it is what it is. Like I've just got to pass it on. Yeah, I just, that's not a priority for me is meeting someone right now. <laughs> We just finished eating at Honest Greens. I give it like a seven out of 10. It was a nice salad with some like pickled, I don't know, pickled, not potato, like daikon almost, but it wasn't daikon. And um, tempeh, which had like a 
like a soy chili good flavor on it and then you get a piece of bread but the combo wasn't so great because the salad didn't mix with the tempeh and then the bread has nothing on it so i didn't really know how to eat the bread with it all definitely better than the lunch i had yesterday and better than just eating baguette and cheese so i'm pretty satisfied and i would go back which means it was good Probably mispronounced it there even and I was like, huh?